Hey guys, this is Ambrose with Action Esports, and we're here with another video on Artifact. Damage is arguably the most important aspect of Artifact, because without dealing damage, you cannot win. In Artifact, there are many ways to change the damage you or your opponent are dealing, and there are many different names for the mechanics that allow you to do so. In this video, we'll be going over the different ways to amplify, mitigate, and nullify damage. First, let's cover the three main stats that you will see on most creeps and hero cards. Similar to other card games, health and attack are the two easiest terms to understand in Artifact. Health represents the amount of damage a unit can sustain, and attack dictates the amount of damage a unit can deal when attacking. When a unit's health reaches zero, it is defeated and is eliminated from play. The third stat, Armor, reduces incoming damage taken by one point for each point of armor. For example, the hero Axe has an armor stat of two, which reduces any incoming damage by two points. There are a variety of cards in Artifact with effects that can add, remove, and place special conditional effects on health, attack, and armor, ranging from equipment cards to various spells and hero abilities. One interesting interaction with armor in Artifact involves cards such as Ristol Emblem, which causes a target unit's armor to be reduced by 2 and can result in the stat falling below 0. Having negative armor will cause an affected unit to take more damage than the attack would have done otherwise. Attack values can also be targeted by card effects such as that of the recently revealed Hellbear Crippler and can be reduced beyond zero into negative values. While attack can go negative, a unit with a negative attack value after armor calculations will not deal negative damage. In Artifact, there are currently four types of damage in the game. To start things off, we have normal damage which will inflict damage to a target equal to that of its base attack value, plus any bonuses a card may be receiving. Piercing damage is the first variation of damage that you may encounter. As the name suggests, piercing damage will allow you to bypass the armor on an enemy unit and inflict damage such as in the case of Zeus's signature card, Thunder God's Wrath, which ignores all armor and deals 4 piercing damage to each enemy hero in all lanes. Additionally, if a card has negative armor when facing piercing damage, it will still take bonus damage. Next up, we have Siege Damage. Siege Damage cannot be blocked by units, and allows you to deal damage to towers without having to take down the unit in front of you first. The downside, however, is that it will not apply if your card attacks the tower directly. Examples of cards that can apply Siege Damage effects include Red Mist Maul, Apotheosis Blade, and Time of Triumph. For the final damage type in Artifact, we have Cleave. Whenever a unit with the Cleave Damage modifier attacks, it will also deal damage to adjacent cards of the unit being attacked. It's important to note that Cleave will not deal additional damage to the main target, nor will it trigger if there is no unit to Cleave off of, such as when trying to attack a tower directly. Spells like Clear the Deck and Grand Melee will provide units with Cleave modifications, and are featured often in decks using red cards. With all these damage types in the game, Valve has also implemented a series of defensive mechanisms to slow down the pace of the game and introduce more counterplay options to decks that focus on being aggressive and rushing the enemy down with one or many units. Each mechanic has its strengths and weaknesses and make Artifact all the more interesting. First, we have the Damage Immunity mechanic, which as the name implies makes a unit invulnerable to any form of damage. While in this state, your units can still be healed and afflicted by the non-damaging effects of spells. For example, you can still cast Frostbite on a unit with damage immunity and apply Disarm, a debuff that prevents a unit from attacking, but no damage will be taken. At the cost of 7 mana, Hand of God is a powerful card that provides damage immunity to all your units for that round, in addition to fully restoring their missing health. You can make use of damage immunity to gain the upper hand by trading during the combat phase without incurring damage. To circumvent such a strong defensive buff, there is an equally powerful offensive mechanic in Artifact known as Condemn. Usually found on spell cards, the mechanic Condemn will destroy a target unit instantly, even if it has damage immunity. Heroes that are destroyed will be sent back to the fountain, but any creeps or items that are destroyed by a Condemn effect like that of Corrosive Mist will be gone for good for the remainder of the game. However, it's important to point out that a condemned hero will still retain ownership of any items that were equipped prior to death if it were to fall victim to a card like Annihilation, a spell with a powerful effect of clearing the entire board at the cost of one of your blue heroes. One of the only known methods to resist condemn is if you have a card with the death shield mechanic, like the card Relentless Zombie. This effect will be removed when a unit takes fatal damage or afflicted with condemn and leaves the card to survive with 1 HP. 
Relentless Zombie has the potential to be a good stall card, as it allows you to draw out the early game and force your opponent to allocate at least two damage hits to kill one creep. The Retaliate mechanic is a more indirect method to deal damage to enemy units. Attacking a unit that has Retaliate will force the attacker to take extra damage in return. This applies to any attacks that occur outside of the damage phase, works on targets that can't take damage in the first place because of damage immunity, triggers when affected by cleave, and activates even if a target itself cannot attack when afflicted with disarm. Now with this video, you should have a good understanding of the different damage types in Artifact, as well as some of the damage modifiers like damage immunity and retaliate. Now I want to hear from you guys. What do you think will be the most interesting damage type or the strongest damage modifier? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to stay up to date on future content. Thanks for watching guys, see you guys next time.